taking us back to our progressive roots. You know, it was George Washington who said, I hope I shall ever see America uh, a more progressive nation. He actually used that word on, on repeated occasions. I mean, we, we are the nation that came out of the Enlightenment. We are the nation of progressives. And Kathy Bookfar is with us, an attorney, mediator, a mom, and progressive candidate for Congress from the 8th District of Pennsylvania. She is running against one of the uh, right-wing Republican crazies who is has been named part of the Tea Party 10. And her website is bookvar, B-O-O-C-K-V-A-R.com. Am I pronouncing your name right, Kathy? You are, Tom. Thank you so much. Thank you. But it's, but it's spelled B-O-O-C-K-V-A-R. Uh, even though it's pronounced as if the C was not there, Bookvar. Correct. And so uh, you're, and and I, I, we're regularly featuring good progressive candidates on our program, giving people an opportunity to go go to their websites, see what's up, figure out how they can help out. So give us the your elevator speech. What is what is the summary of who Kathy Bookvar is and why you are running for the U.S. House of Representatives? Sure, and thank you so much for having me on, Tom. I'm a big fan. And uh, to follow up on your last conversation with your uh, last caller, uh, you talked about politicians. I'm happy to say I've never been a politician, Uh but I've always been in public service. So Mm -hmm. I've spent my career and my life working for the people of Pennsylvania, helping people with their jobs, helping disabled veterans get disability benefits, helping seniors with their Social Security and Medicare, helping middle-class families and women, with protect their livelihoods and their families. And that's what they're supposed to be doing down for us in Congress. And yes. that's what's been completely lost in uh, the power struggles and the partisan charades. I want to bring it back around to us, Tom. I want to bring it back around to the people of Pennsylvania, and that's why I'm running. Yeah, and, and I think that one of the reasons why it's so easy to make cheap shot jokes about politicians is because, uh, the, in particular, the Republican Party has just turned... Congress into into a charade. It's it, it, it's uh, you know Harry Reid had to deal with more than three hundred and seventy filibusters in the six years. The, so far, he's been the leader, the, re, the Democratic leader of the Senate. In that same six years, the last Democratic leader of the Senate was Lyndon Johnson. In that same six years, Lyndon Johnson dealt with one. Wow! And this wow! Is, this is how crazy it's gotten. That and so it is really important, I think, that that people uh, find out about people like yourself. We're talking with Kathy Bookvar, B-O-O-C-K-V-A-R dot com is her website, bookvar dot com. And uh, what do you see as the major issues in the, in, in the race here, Kathy? Well, I'm guessing it's very similar to what you've heard uh, across the country. Certainly, the unemployment and, you know, struggling economy is number one issue. Although I should say, you know, I see the umbrella issue and, frankly, the voters see the umbrella issue as being what we started with talking about, which is the, the power struggles overtaking all substantive issues. And so mm-hmm. with the Congress not working, you can't yeah. even get to jobs. You can't get to Medicare. You can't get to women's issues. But once you get, so my mediator background and, you know, my experience, you know, getting people to, you know, I'm used to going into the room with two parties who fully expect not to agree on anything and getting them to focus on producing the solution rather than, you know, just the power struggle. Mm-hmm. But once you get past that, you know, certainly my, my uh, the, the citizens of my district care about, you know, boosting the economy. There's just so much unemployment from you know, from every generation. And, you know, the other issues that are probably the biggest issues in my district are the Ryan budget is incredibly unpopular in my district, and my opponent voted for it twice. Um, you know, they want to preserve Social Security and Medicare, not... not the people in your district, not Paul Ryan. Oh, exactly. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> my district is very unhappy with the, Ryan, with the Ryan budget and with Paul Ryan. Right. Um, and, you know, women's issues. My opponent has been basically on the wrong side of every issue relating to women's rights and women's, um, you know, ability to make health care decisions for ourselves and our families. He's, an- he's probably the only anti-choice congressman ever to hold the seat, at least in the last 30 years. He voted wow. to defund Planned Parenthood. He co-sponsored that bill with Todd Akin to redefine rape. He voted to weaken the Violence Against Women Act. Um, so he's just been, he's been bad for women, he's been bad for middle-class families, and he's been bad for seniors. Right. And, and you will be good on all those issues. Absolutely. You know, this is what I've spent my career doing. It's not like I ran for Congress and suddenly developed uh, opinions on these. This is what I've dedicated my life to. Mm-hmm. We're talking with Kathy Bookfar, B-O-O-C-K. 
VAR.com is her website, bookvar.com. And, uh, and we're talking with Kathy Bookvar, an attorney, mediator, a mom, progressive candidate for Congress from Pennsylvania's 8th District. Uh, and, and check it out. She's running against one of the Tea Party 10 who is in Congress right now who um, really hasn't, in the opinion of many of us, been doing such a good job representing all of us. Although he's doing a fine job of representing the Koch brothers and the other billionaires. Don't forget Sarah Palin. What about Sarah Palin? Well, he, he got her endorsement, so I think he's doing a good job representing her as well. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> Kathy, thank you so much for coming on the program and, and sharing your story with us. Well, thank you, Tom, and, and I'd love to thank your readers. If any, you know, we've got six days to go, and by the mm. way, my, my district was hit very hard by the hurricane. Mm. If anybody is able to be of help in these final six days, don't think it's too late. It is absolutely not. We could use your help from remote, by remote phone banking. Um, if you're willing to come to the district, we'd love your help with door knocking. And if you're in a position where you can make a financial contribution, I hate the role of money in politics. Um, I was in favor of campaign finance reform before I ever ran for Congress, but I've never been so much in favor of it as I am right now. Yeah. But I can't change it with, until I get there. And every contribution, small and large, is incredibly helpful in that regard. So thank you so much. You're welcome. And people can learn more about it at your website, bookvar, B-O-O-C-K-V-A-R dot com, www.bookvar.com. Kathy, thank you. Thank I wish you, you the very best. I really appreciate all you do. 